Hey guys, Rusty coming at you. Uh, just showing off my Kaiser collection that I picked up uh, uh, the 10 year anniversary mark uh, for Kaiser. Uh, this is the Kaiser T1 and it's got a lot of people really liking it. Uh, it's got this flat ground blade. You can see it's a saber grind. It doesn't come up all the way. Comes to about there. Has a sharpening choil. You do have a bit of a move up position, I'll say. I, I got them in this gray micarta, I like that. I'm not sure if these are all Mojave exclusives or or what, but I got the uh, Kaiser Pelican in that as well. It's got a short clip in my opinion, and it's got a lot of pressure pushing down. It's hard to go over uh, the hem. And I'm, I've been buying Kubi clips from Knife Global. You can get two for five bucks. Uh, but this does have nice action. You guys can see that. Finger flick. And when I get my hand free, we'll take it inside and see if we can find out about, um, oh, lock up on it. Any blade play, so on. Uh, the lock looks good on it. And um, it's recessed my carta. So... I think I'm going to compare this one to maybe the Kershaw knockout when we get inside. I got to dig that out, so stick with me. Okay, now we're sitting down and taking a look at the Kaiser T1. As I believe I mentioned, this is an Uli Heineke design. He doesn't have a whole lot of knives, but uh, by the way, what I didn't mention, from what I understand, this T1 stands for task. Uh, now this is in 154 cm blade steel we might get into that a little bit later and for me as i mentioned this is a pocket clip which i don't like um but i got that same pocket clip on uh the olight knives my drever and in my video on the drever i say um i didn't like the pocket clip but it did loosen uh, you know, the, this, the tension kind of backed off and it became to the point where I liked it better. We are looking to see if we can see any skeletonization. And, okay, maybe just a little. I'm out here in the sun, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, we have this backspacer, which is actually made out of metal. So that's kind of a a first uh, excellent micarta nested liners lockup I told you guys I was going to compare this one to the knockout so before we do that we're gonna do a little cut test see how so I just got done cutting whoo, with the Doman uh, this same board. This is really nice right here. Of course, I'm running with the, yeah. Uh, so I do like that, how we do. And did we get through all the way? Yeah, we'd have to have. Let's go this way. Okay. Uh, the city's not gonna appreciate me messing up their table here, but uh, lock up or the drop is excellent. So, okay, we'll set that down, see how we do, and we'll bring out the Kershaw Knockout. I did buy this one used, and uh, I haven't carried it much. I did take and hone up the edge on this with my Fal Fal Niven CC4. Uh, I don't have enough, there we go, to hold on to here. I'll grab another one. See how we're doing. Since I like to cut stuff. Ah, oh, feeling a little, you know. Uh, the Kaiser's doing better. It could be, this feels sharp. Uh, but it could be, okay. Okay, sorry about that guy's got a mess here. Well, let's compare the blades. 
So the knockout is a very popular uh, knife. I think the blade shape is what we're getting. Uh, what I saw the, the similarities is we got this uh, flat grind up to here and then it kind of just disappears towards the end there. And that's what I was seeing uh, right here. And then it's gone. Uh, this one doesn't have as much belly coming down. <clears throat> if you guys can see uh, kind of what I'm talking about. Cutting edge wise, I think overall cutting edge will go to the knockout. And uh, handles really about the same. So. Oh, yeah, knockout might be. Now over here, we got a steel, this is called your uh, lock bar here, and that's part of where it gets the name, the knockout. Uh, we have an insert liner, so it's gonna be a thinner liner than what we have uh, with this one, but this is spring assisted. So that's a Kershaw, just kind of giving you guys some alternatives. Might be able to pick this up like 80 bucks if you can still get them on blade hq and these were about 70 now uh believe on this one i believe i paid about 39 uh i want to save with that 50 percent off sale 35 so all right guys uh as far as the t1 i do like my pelican better i'm not carrying my pelican today or I would uh, compare it. Uh, Pelican has more blade uh, for kind of the same size handle. Uh, this thing seems to have a lot of handle. And it's not bad on the, you know, blade to handle ratio. It just seems like you got a lot of handle for the blade, but it's okay because it gives you enough uh, to hang on to. Okay, we will put this one away. Thanks, guys.